Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to EU4 in our The Navigator run. When we last left off, we allowed the nobles to take power because apparently we are, you know, crazy. And we just generally, apparently don't care about life because we are just that crazy and mad and stuff. We do stuff. It's fun. Fun to do stuff. And yeah, we're... Will we be able to reach here on our next... Our next jump. I hope so. It's 1470. We have like 30 years left. In, or, yeah, we've got uh, 839 settlers here. A little slow. Uh, this is also out of our range in St. Helena. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to go for St. Helena rather than this little, little blip here. But we might need it. It really depends on if uh, wherever we jump gives us the reach to go attack Madagascar. Because that's, that's the real thing that we're, we're really looking for. Let's also look at tech. Trade range. Like, what we need is the colonial range. Because that's what determines our ability to, well, jump further. And as you can see... Kind of... Kind of not there, actually. Fabricate claims overseas in colonial regions. That'll be useful. I mean, we're obviously going to kind of rush for that, I guess. As best we can. Because I figure we'll get to that before we get the tech required in order to move up in the world. As the case were to be. Alright, there we go. Wow, that finished faster than I thought. Please tell me I can reach all the way down here. It is... Really? Costa del Oro. Not even close, actually. And by not even close, I mean it is actually reasonably close. It's just not as close as I would have preferred. Shoot. But I think St. Helena is probably gonna... This is still probably gonna effectively get the same job done. Hopefully. I mean, I, I think what's gonna happen with this is at the end of the day... This run, uh, let's go with the South Atlantic. Like, our most of our speed is gonna, like, when everything comes together, it's gonna be during, like, the last few years of this whole, uh, colony here. Uh, conquer garb, that doesn't really help me, if anything. Uh, improve our prestige, that's cool. I'm just gonna reset this in the hopes that we get something better, like a mission that'll... I'll, like, say, hey, colonize something else, and then we'll be like, yeah, we'll colonize something else, and, you'll, and then they'll be like, yeah, good job colonizing something else. What do I need to actually get this? 153. Am I really just not spreading the Renaissance? Really, almost all my provinces have it, and yet, still. Huh. Oh, these don't even have it at all. This is probably where problem's coming from, isn't it? No, these actually aren't even that well developed. Huh. That is wacky. I mean, 74. I mean, why not, right? Just go for it. 75. A little bit of this. Bit of that. Because we don't really care about any of our points now. And we'll make a bit more money, which is always good. I like money. Money is what makes the world go round. There we go. And yeah, the nobles are still angry about life. We're still making terrible money. The clergy is still disloyal. Oh geez, I can't even like do anything else anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, at least they're not unhappy anymore. That'll make us make a slight amount more money. I guess if I really wanted to push it, I could just try taking away their land so we could end that disaster. What will this do to us, exactly? Well, the losing free stability thing does kind of hurt. And what do we need in order to do this? Nobility must be lower than 60. Alright. And this will lower them down to 76. This will also... Uh, excuse me, sir. This will also lower them down to... Uh... Influence... Oh, that's the burgers. Never mind. What's the biggest thing the nobles have? 
Well, it's all about the same. 76. Yeah, it'll make them very unhappy. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to pull out. And then we have to wait for these modifiers to go away. And, uh, yeah. I mean, unless I want to fight the noble rebels, but I, I can wait. I can be patient. Not that big a deal at the end of the day. Everything kind of comes together, works out in its own unique, messed up, gaslight way. All right, we'll try to make some more money. There, there we go. Oh, and just as I was able to afford it, I threw it away. Good job, Gaslight. Smart plays. That's how the game is played, after all. You know what? We'll take out a loan. I'm a crazy man. I don't mind taking out crazy loans for no reason. You know what? I'll even take out a second one. That's just how radical I am. Okay, we'll be losing money, though, if we... If we do do that, we'll embrace this. Because why not? Tech, I'm not concerned about, though. Not too much. I'm a little concerned, but not... Wow! Congo's gone! I wasn't expecting that to happen. If I'm being entirely honest with you. I mean, here's a thought. What if I declared war on someone who, like, in no way could attack me, and then I just keep war reparations up forever? Or I could just take that. That also works. I mean, I suppose a lot of things theoretically work, but they're not necessarily, you know, the smart plays. Ah. You know, it's actually kind of interesting playing this way in a, a fashion where I really don't care whether I actually win or lose here. I uh, don't really care about that either. Let's uh, recycle the missions yet again. See what happens. Yeah, the nobles are really angry. I need to get rid of them. All right, bronze cannons. That's pretty sweet. You know, I'm gonna I'm falling behind in military against like the bloody natives. That's gonna be somewhat humiliating. And by natives, I mean the African folk. You know, noble as they are. I've horribly mismanaged our funds in every possible way. It's kind of hilarious, but also kind of like awful as well because I really should be doing better. But that's, that's how Gaming by Gaslight plays his little game here. Of crazy stupidness. It happens. Oh good, actually, let's see here. Alright. I mean, I hope we're able to get around the corner here. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll get some more mercantilism. Why not, says I. And what kind of mission do we get here? Establish a trading post on the South African coast. I said that in, like, a really weird way. So yeah, all we really need to do is just colonize here, and it'll even increase our colonization range. Nice. That's sweet. Look at that. Look at how fast we're colonizing here. And if we could get some more modifiers, it would be even better. I would actually like that. Let's see here. Sure, why not? That gives us more taxes. And once we save up some money, we can probably build some production buildings. Which don't actually really help us at all, because none of our things have particularly high production, so it doesn't matter. Alright, okay. And let's see here. Yeah, we're not we're not quite there yet. We just need to wait until 79. Good job. Oh come on! You did that just to screw with me, game. I don't like it when you do that, that's not nice. Ah, lordy. Uh yeah, extra. Diplo points are always nice, because again, we want to want to finish this. Hmm. Why, it's not even in range. Wait. Oh, right. Once this is finished, it'll probably be in range. Is this in range? Nope. This is, though. Could colonize it. Well, I think I will, if for no other reason than just because I can. I mean, that's sometimes a good reason to do things. Sometimes. A little scared about what's going to happen here. Oh, come on! You should have taken the cap- Any player would have taken the leader with them when transporting over. Come on, don't be crazy, game. Anyway, I just figure this could end up being useful to us in some- some crazy fashion. Or not. Okay, that- that speeds things up. I like it when that happens. 
Actually, I suppose what I should do... Maybe split you guys in half. How many natives are down here? Not many. Okay, so let's, let's kind of pay attention to what's going on over here. Make sure that we've got all the action going on over here. This is good. It's all coming together. Let's see. Anything for our queen? I can give you money or I can say no. Alright, I'll do that. That's how Gaming by Gaslight plays his crazy game of, like, nonsensicalness. Donate this to the poor. Spend it generously. I don't want the money, actually. Ooh, what's this? Book decision. Support the claimant. Let's see. Once again, Cast the Castilian crown is seen to dispute succession. Yeah, sure, I'll send some men to see what happens. If we can get our, our people on the crown or on the throne, I see no reason why we shouldn't put our people on the... Oh, come on. Come on! Yes, we can squeeze like one person in there. And continue exploring around the coast, which means if we can get far enough down there then we'll be able to conquer Madagascar. And conquering Madagascar will allow us to then, once we get a core there, we'll be able to leapfrog into India and Indonesia, and that'll basically wrap this whole crazy uh, shtick up. I guess I'll wait here until settlers arrive. They can't take that long. They are taking a bit longer than I had hoped. But uh, yeah. Overall, this is actually working out quite nicely for me. That makes me very happy. Come on, just a month left, and then we can kind of sit in here and rest. Alright, yes! There we go. That also increases our range. Turn Luanda into a city, why not? Gives extra, like, base production and stuff in there. That seems reasonable. 150 a year, so that means, like, 10, 7 years, basically, in order to make each of these colonies... I'm not entirely sure I'm happy with that. Then again, it is only 77. Like, this is going to be... Oh, oh, sweet. We can actually see into India, which means we could probably get a war going, which in turn would allow us to... Yes. Which would allow us to conquer stuff over there. How much money am I earning right now? Ooh. Like, I'm going to need a bigger army, I think, in order to... Like, yeah. Like, I, I can't imagine I'm gonna be able to... Well, it depends on what the situation over there in Madagascar is. I'll repay my loans. Extend one of them. Alright. Got a reasonable feeling about this. It seems kind of silly to me, though, that like, I can't colonize or extend my colony range based on where the colony is. Because you'd figure that would just make sense. But then again, what does Gaming by Gaslight know? Probably not much. Okay. Oh god, did you like conquer the entire... Let's see here. Uh, Antimero. Alright, that's uh... I mean, you have no allies. If we if we truce-braked you and like just wandered all the way up... That uh, could work. Let's have a look here. Antimeo. Tomorrow. They have only 2,000 people. Like, we could conquer them. Many, uh, you have only 5,000 troops there. Alright, so I can actually... Can I fabricate on you now? Uh, settlement or more people means more taxes. Why not? No neighboring province. Yeah, I don't think I understood exactly what that did for me. Oh well. I don't care. We've done enough. Ish. Alright, so what do we need to do, really? We need more... We need more transports, first of all. More cogs of war. If we can get them. Alright. Three more, that's goodish enough. Oh, look at that! Alright, that doesn't really look like... Doesn't. At the end of the day, it looks like we didn't really get anything there. We always want siege ability, that's always good. Jolly good, one would even say. I would say that anyway. So I can't actually fabricate claims on you. I think I misunderstood what this did. Fabricate claims in overseas colonial... Oh, in colonial regions. That's useless. 
I mean, it's not useless, but it's not nearly as good as I would have liked it to be. Uh, what about expansion ideas? Oh, an overseas trade company regions. Come on. You're saying I should have gone for that, but then again I wouldn't have been able to explore. And now one of our leaders has died. That's cool. Let's see, 21. Uh, good stats all around. I am satisfied with this general turn of events. Things are also looking reasonably up and up over here. Alright, we're losing more money again. Let's uh, lower things just a little bit. While we wait. And uh, maybe bump that up a little bit because I'm a crazy man. Of course, a lot of our money issues are now like directly related to the fact that I have screwed us all. Let's see here. Uh, competition breeds success, why not? Like a smart plan to me. Alright, so what's going on over here? So, 79. That'll get rid of that. Advancements, uh, there. 84. So I'm gonna have to wait until 84 now to get rid of these guys. That's really unfortunate, but that's also sometimes how life goes. So I should not, not beat myself up about it too much. Also wondering to myself, do I take out another loan? The answer is yes, even though I'm gonna lose some money on that. And we also hire three more dudes. All right. Works for me, really. Peasants War, sweet. I mean, the long-term game here is we're going to be taking out loans for other loans. But then again, I guess in a way, we're actually kind of living the dream of uh, Portugal in real life here. Because didn't they... One of their problems was they ended up... I don't know all the details, but I know they bankrupted themselves or something. Similar to what Spain did as well. They just overextended themselves too much too fast. Fortunately for us, we don't have to deal with the actual consequences of those actions. It also occurs to me, if I don't want to deal with the natives, I could just uh, attack them and wipe them out forever. Which, I'm not opposed to doing that. Not saying I should do that, but I'm not opposed to doing it. I really just want to know, well, there, there's at least one other nation here. Like, I want to know who has the tip of Madagascar, because we need the tip in order to, like, get in there and explore. Or wait a minute, you know what? Well, I'm I'm trying to steal maps. I could totally try to just steal a map. I can't do that. No, I have to wait Diplo Tech 6, which we're not going to get in this playthrough. Fun times. All right. Anyway, it's all good. Now, we've, we have been getting attacked over here, and we have been surviving. Maybe it would make sense for me to just wipe out the natives over here. So I'm going to do that. I should probably max out our stats here, and also put our leader over here, because he can teleport. Oh! Wait, how long have we had this conquistador? Apparently a while. Long enough. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and... We'll spend the points just to wipe out the natives. <laughs> Make our lives that much easier. Are there any late natives still? They are all dead, so we can actually get out of here. Oh, sweet. We can actually just walk down and explore. Works for me. Alright, we get a claim on Garb. That's fun, I guess. And our general has died. That couldn't have come at a worse time, to be honest with you. And then we'll, uh... Yeah, we'll go back down to this. I think, ultimately, we're, we're playing... A smart-ish game here. Smart-ish. And by smart-ish, I mean it's, like, not smart at all. We're not doing good things here. This is not, like, long-term survivability kind of play we've got going. Actually, hang on a second. <laughs> Depending on how much time we have left. Oh, dear. We have, like, 19 years left. We can still make that work. Oh, sweet, and there's Luanda. All right, so can we... How far can we reach? Can reach like two provinces over. Good job. And you're already almost done anyway. I mean, it's probably still worth it. I mean, we we have the ability to wander on into two different provinces. You like? Oh, you're just gonna kind of like do that and then realize, oh nope, can't actually go there. All right, we'll spend the ducats for that. So 
don't know what I was spending my ducats on, if I'm being entirely honest, because I wasn't actually paying attention. But attention is for suckers, really. Oh, I've actually got more merchants. Sweet. So, how do I really want to leverage that? I guess just keep uh, pushing stuff along upstream, and I would actually rather you not... I'd rather you push it directly into... Uh, you, yeah, to Sevilla. Good job. Excellent. And we want this uh, improved war score thing. And what else do we want? I'm gonna reset this. I don't. He wasn't even paying attention to how long that was there, actually. But it was there a long enough time to have effectively done something. All right. So, yeah. Once this settles, though, I should be able to like look far enough, far enough up here to figure out what's going on, and then we can conquer, and we can get those settlements that I was talking about going. And it's gonna happen sooner than we thought. Wow. Whole map just uncovered itself. Nice. I assume it's because of a wasteland thing. All right, excellent. Now we get to go on into the Western Indian Ocean, as one does. And I'm not immediately going to colonize anything. Really? Really? Finishing this didn't extend my... Oh, it extended it to here. I mean, I might actually consider settling that. To be honest with you. It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be worthless to do so. Depending on, you know, how things go. But it's not also not strictly necessary either. Yeah, actually, to be honest, no, I can't reach that. That's right. Colonize Cape Coast. All right. Portuguese Brazil. What does this do? Settler chance. Settler chance. I mean, same. Where's Cape Coast? It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, just double check that. Objectives. Owned by Portugal. Cape Coast. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cape Coast is up in the ever spot. Yeah, all right, I'll, I mean, I'll settle it, because it gives us the settler increase, which is going to be useful. Wait, how many how many guys were over there? 4,000. Okay, so we'll send, like, 6,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Ah, we'll send 7, just to be safe. Send them over here. Yeah. I think that should be okay, and assuming the numbers over here are actually as low as... Okay, so the purple guys are the ones we want to attack. We want these lands in this general vicinity. We've renewed our loan again. We are earning money, though, so that's always fun. All right, and we will continue to explore. Once we get those coastlines, we're pretty much set. All right, you've got that over there. I'm going to send you over there. I could build more knights, and that might actually be a good idea. I mean, we are losing money, don't get me wrong. But uh, having some more guys, probably a good idea. Also, you know what, I'm gonna do this, so that I can pay off the older loan. You know, you, you take your loans to pay off your other loans. It's genius, really. Yeah, like, we keep paying off these ones, and then don't have to worry about the other ones. Not a good business strategy, mind you, but uh, it worked for me, so I will stand by it for the time being as we kind of fight these guys, these goons, if you will. I'm going to basically, it's going to be nothing but loans from here until the end of the game, by the way, so get ready for that. Yeah, so Sack Lava, how much land do they have, or how many soldiers do they have? Sack Lava, Sack Lava, Sack Lava... Sakalava. They have eight of nine. So, yeah, these guys really can't fight back. I mean, they actually <laughs> can't fight back. They're actually ahead of me in tech. But not for long. Still, though, still, though. I should not underestimate them. But still. Alright, so I gotta... I want to go to war with these guys. This is going to be fun. So we go to war with them. They're, who are they allied with? Imarina. So there's like a never nation in here. But basically, we take this tip right here. of uh, Why can't I click on it? Yeah, there we go. Of uh, Antankara here. And that would hopefully give us enough room. Like once we've called or recorded. And we should be able to get in here. Because like India is like right around here somewhere. And Indonesia is also, or something that counts as part of Indonesia for the purposes of the achievement is in that general vicinity as well. So, 
And what I'm saying is, this actually shouldn't be that difficult. Of course, I could always just attack up here and, like, paint or something. But I think Madagascar sounds like it's going to be easier. Of course, you have no allies. Hmm. I mean, when in doubt, always go for the lowest hanging fruit, right? So... Yeah. I mean, just kill these guys so I don't need to... Don't need to babysit them. There we go. We've turned everyone into Portugal... Portuguese people. Sweet. Also, I'm gonna do a little nifty thing here. When this guy comes back, this should all, like, turn Portuguese and Christian. Because there's, like, no one left to, to argue at that point. I think that's how that works, anyway. Pretty, uh... Pretty sneaky, huh? And, you know, not exactly... Not exactly the most moral thing of all time. Alright, so we probably don't actually even need those guys. We'll save our money a little bit. Send these extra two guys down here, though. Just to be safe. And that's where we're going to wrap things up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.